Welcome to Big Stretch TVG, No Dogs Raised, Sold, or Bred for any legal purposes. This is strictly for historical, entertainment, and educational purposes only. We got a great show today, Bulldoggers. I mean, a great show. Stretch is going to explain something about breeding game dogs. Okay. This is going to be a one on one about breeding game dogs, okay? And it's all got to add up, okay? You can't say you got a Jeep dog, right? If you only got a A for Jeep in the dog. It's got to be more than that. It's got to be, how can I say this? A line bred Jeep breeding in order for you to have a certain percentage a certain amount of the bloodline. And I'll, I'll explain it to you like this right here. Okay. You got the dog. Okay. You said Jeep. Jeep is only throwing 50% of itself in his offspring. That's it. 50%. That's all you're getting off of Jeep. 50%. Now, when you go and breed that dog again, if you ain't breed it into some Jeep, you're getting 25% of the Jeep dog, which you started off with. When you breed to a son, it's only going to be 25%. You breed to a grandson, it's only going to be a what? A eighth? Yeah, a eighth. So you can't say, when you get to the eighth right here, you got a Jeep dog, if none of your crosses that you bred into got Jeep in it. I just want to make that clear when it comes to breeding dogs. You know what I'm saying? Most people are not going to understand it, but you got to, it's got to add up. This, this plain, long, simple has got to add up. You know what I'm saying? If you want to run a 5A Jeep dog, then you got to add Jeep in there to make it to 5A. Or Bolio. Or whatever dog you're choosing to breed to or lion breeding way. You know what I'm saying? Just like the great breeding of uh, Tombstone Bully Red Bull Jocko. Now you're like, well, what in the world are you talking about when you're talking about Tombstone Bully Red Bull Jocko? How much Jocko is in the dog? How much Red Bull in the dog? How much Jocko in the dog? How much Tombstone in the dog? And how much Bolo in the dog? That's what needs to be figured out. Yeah, that right there. Figure that one out. Talk about the stretch. Because it's got to add up. It's got to add up, man. If it don't add up, what it's doing? It ain't correct, is it? Nope, it's not correct. And that's where you have... How can I say this? Dogs that are not of the quality or of the standard of the breed. Yeah. Stretch said it. Don't have the standard of the breed. Yeah. Now, okay, I'm going to give you an example of this right here. Okay. You got an inbred red boy dog. You breed it to a inbred Bolio dog. Alright. Now what you got? You got Bolio and you got Red Bull. Alright. Only gonna be what is it? Twenty five percent Red Bull and twenty five percent Bolio gonna be in the offspring. Yeah. Just twenty five percent. And just say you got the other one you braided to was a 
Zebo in there. Or Boomerang in there. Zebo Boomerang. So here's what you got. You got Red Boy, you got Bolio, you got Zebo, and you got Boomerang. You got a quarter this, quarter this, quarter this, and quarter this to make that dog. Now, if you don't breed to a Red Boy, Bolio, Zebo, Boomerang dog, out of what was right there, it goes down even further. To where you only got an eighth of Red Boy, an eighth of Bolio, an eighth of Zebo, and an eighth of Boomerang. That's what you got. Now, you can't say you got Boomerang, you got a Boomerang dog. How can you say you got Boomerang and got an eighth in it? Can't say that. You got to say you got a boomerang, Zebo, Bolio, and Red Boy dog. Yeah, because that's what you got. Old man told me one time, older than I was, but just new getting in the game. And at the time, we used to talk about pedigrees, different stuff like this. Right? I said, man, you know what you got? And then I remember him coming to me one day when it finally dawned on what he had, right? He said, I know what I got. <laughs> it tickled me to death. It tickled me because he finally realized what he had. That's all. See, a lot of people don't know, want, want people to know what they got. Then they look at the person they got it from and be like, why you sell me this when it ain't this? That's where they get the misconception. I mean, that really does. Yeah, it really does. Cause then you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't create a mess by doing it like that. All you said was it got a for this, it got a for this, it got a for this, or it got a what is it, quarter this or sixteenth for this or yeah, yeah. That's how you really add it up, really. Add and if a lot of people added up their pedigrees, they'll know what they got. But a lot of people don't want to take it that deep. Yep. They want to stay in the blind. Stretch ain't going to have y'all in the blind. I don't want y'all in the blind. I want y'all to be able to see. I want y'all to be able to see now, throughout these pedigrees, what you got. What you got. And then know what you got. Yeah, you make a breed and be proud of what you got because you created it. Just make sure you know what you're talking about which, when you created it. Know you got an eighth of this, you got 25% this, you might have three eighths and a half this. It's whatever, and, you, and be satisfied with what you got. If you don't got but three eighths Jeep in your dog and you want, you want a, a three quarter Jeep dog, then that's what you breed to, and you get that. Well, you go out and buy that. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to breed that, you want to create your own three-quarter Jeep, make sure you breeding Jeep dogs. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Then you can say you got a Jeep dog or a Bolio dog or a Bulls dog. Or, or or even a Red Bull dog. I seen a pedigree of a guy sent me. He claimed it was Red Bull. And it had, what was it? It was, uh, it was 5 8 Eli. With a quarter Red Bull. And a quarter Bolio in it. And he claimed he had a Red Bull dog. Don't laugh at me. Don't laugh at the brother. But that's what he was thinking. I had to correct him in his wrongness when it came to that because I know better than that. He might not know no better than that. So I had to explain it to him that you don't have a red boy dog. You got a 
Eli Bolio and Red Bull Dog. Okay. Not a Red Bull Dog. Okay. Yeah. I'm just running my mouth tonight. Just talking. I ran my mouth about the Lord have mercy. I'm looking at the time now. Yeah. But this stretch is running his mouth, man, about bleeding the bloodlines, man, and adding stuff up, man. Because a lot of these guys are here, man, they ain't adding up, man. They ain't adding up right, man. They saying they got a, they got a, a something other and a something other. And it ain't, it ain't, it ain't neither one of the dog. You can't say you got a buck dog and you only got a sixteenth of a buck in the dog. Don't do that. That's wrong to do that. Y'all don't think it's wrong to do that. It's wrong to do that. Say what your cross is. Be proud of your cross. You created it. But you can't be proud of somebody else's junk that they put together. They're going to they're gonna, um, mm, they scatter bread you to death. No have mercy. Know your dog. Know how your dog bred. And know what you got is the message of the night. Y'all stay tuned. More to come from starting from scratch. We're going to add it up. We're going to see how much you got in there. How about that?